Hello, friends, and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Roll. All right, today I am shooting this video at the same time I shot yesterday's video. Uh, basically, you recall I prepared a, I did a bites and nibbles segment yesterday, and while I was waiting for the food to cook in the Instant Pot for four hours, I decided that I wanted to go out and kind of wander around downtown Waco. Uh, you recall I went and did that a few weeks ago during the lockdown, and supposedly things are beginning to open up again. So I'm going to go down the main street, down, down Austin Avenue, and we're going to see if things are beginning to open up. This ought to be interesting. Let's go. All right, so here we are on Austin Avenue at about 8th Street going down uh, towards uh, downtown Waco. Uh, it actually looks like things are a little bit more busy than they were last time out here. There's vehicles out, there's people on the street. There's definitely evidence that some businesses are running around here. So let's wander around and see what's happening. Yep, things are getting back to normal. We even got some street vendors out selling uh, drinks and food out here. So yeah. I think we are slowly kind of clawing our way back into the real world here. Let's hope it continues. Now there's still a few places that aren't open. This is uh, that's, uh, Jake's Texas Tea House that we visited a while back that I wasn't really impressed with the food. They still appear to be closed. Yeah, it seems like a lot of the restaurants are still closed, but I'm actually seeing activity in some of the buildings, even though the buildings are closed. Like maybe they're, uh, maybe they're, uh, you know, in there, but getting ready to warm up or, you know, to start up again, but not ready to do it. It says, if this door isn't locked, please knock loud. But I don't know if they're open today. Doesn't look like it. it looked pretty dark in there. Looks like there's a lot of construction going on down here. Halftime bar and uh, restaurant. Uh, closed. Okay, they're just normally closed on Mondays. That sign's hard to read though, isn't it? Yeah, but I guess they're closed on Mondays, so. This looks like some business. It looks like it's maybe just on the verge of going into business here. Doing some of the construction here to get it all set up kind of cool in there. Don't know what it'll be. Looks like it might be a nice retail outlet. Let's see if we can get an idea of what it is. That's who's building it. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's homes or something like that. Sounds like they got like homes above it, but I'm not sure what that's going to be. Okay, so that's an Indian place and they're open. It looks like they're just doing curbside though right now. <coughs> but they actually got the open sign out. So maybe they're kind of starting to pounce back. And I see this little place next door here. They are actually uh, open, uh, but they're saying once again to go only or curbside. But you know, that's how a lot of these businesses are doing it. These guys were shut down though a couple weeks ago when I was here. So it's good to see that they're operating at least on some level. Another catering truck in there across from the uh, Alico building here. So obviously servicing some of the people probably working in the courthouse and in some of the buildings in this area. And of course, this is the uh, location where that tornado went through and where a lot of the deaths were because uh, there was a building here that made like furniture uh, supplies and stuff like that. And that, basic, that building basically collapsed with everybody in it. We've told that story a bunch of times because of course here we are over by the uh, the spinners again. Now just to kind of put things into perspective, this is a Monday, so you know, you're not going to see a lot of uh, tourists and stuff like that out here today. This is all business going on right now, but it is good to see that a lot of this stuff is starting to open up again. That definitely needs to happen. not going to be a lot of money to pay, keep paying stimulus checks to people if all the businesses go out of business. Yeah, see this place uh, still appears to be closed, although maybe they're just closed right now because, you know, this is maybe prime business. This may open up later on. This may actually be more of a weekend kind of business. And then of course here we are down at City Hall. 
So you remember last time I was here, there was uh, some businesses over there. We're going to go over there and see what, how they're doing compared to what they were doing a couple weeks ago. Now I've actually crossed over uh, Franklin just because I saw a couple of murals on the wall here that I wanted to kind of show. I hadn't seen those before because I haven't really been into this area. But we got that one and uh, this one's kind of colorful here. I don't know exactly what it is, but... And then we got uh, some uh, Waco uh, stuff here. This almost looks like it's Baylor related because that's like a it looks like a bear up there holding a football. I think it says Waco Town. What with all the it's hard to tell though with all the windows in the middle. Let's go over and take a cl uh, closer look at that before we go over and look at some of the businesses. And they lived happily ever after to the end of their days. Fabled bookshop and cafe. So I wonder if there's like a cafe or a bookshop around here. Let's go take a look. Like I said, I haven't really wandered down here very much. Yeah, it looks like there's a bookshop here. They're temporarily closed, but uh, I guess they're selling stuff online. There's actually somebody in there, so they're obviously doing some work uh, today, I guess. I guess they, it looks like they got curbside pickup too. I guess you order online and, uh, and they'll bring it out to your car. Interesting, I've never seen anybody do that with a bookstore before. But I guess, you know, if it works with restaurants, it'll work here too. This still comes off a little bit uh, surprising and uh, different to me to see all the buildings that are constructed out of brick because that's the main uh, building component used here in uh, Texas and it seems weird for me because in California we don't have a whole lot of brick buildings just because bricks tend to come apart in earthquakes. Yeah, I guess that place is still closed. Now this is like a restaurant so it's entirely you know possible that this isn't maybe closed because of the virus but just because uh, it isn't prime restaurant viewing time here okay yeah these guys say they actually have put it on stop put things on pause yeah it still seems like a a lot of things are still closed down here There's a few people in the parking lot, so there must be some... Yeah, see, this place is just normally closed on Mondays and Tuesdays, so it's hard to tell. You know, I don't see any signs here talking about, you know, being closed down for the virus. So, you know, maybe they're just not open today. Maybe that's all we're dealing with on that. Let's see what's going on across the street here. Looks like this wing stop is open, but they're just doing uh, carry out and that kind of stuff. Sushi place appears to be open though. But even there, just carry out orders only. Yeah, that seems to be how a lot of these businesses are dealing with this right now. You know, they're opening what they can, you know, but they're still trying to practice the social distancing and do stuff like that. Yeah, closed until further notice. Yeah, that's kind of the story of what everything's going on down here. This place is open for to-go food only. Don't seem to be a lot of uh, Waco tour buses going around right now. But I guess that's sort of be expected. Uh, 
Oh yeah, this place is open, at least on some level. I don't know if they're uh, just doing to go or what, but at least they're open. That's a, that's a start. That's how this is all going to have to start at some point. Wow, those guys have a lot to say. Funny, they got one of those fake owls up in the tree, I think, to, to scare the birds away. But it doesn't appear to be working very well. Because this is definitely the tree where they're all hanging out in. Fuzzy's Taco Shop. Open 11 to 2, 5 to 8. So yeah, seem, seems like they're open. It's about 2 o'clock right now and uh or a little before two o'clock so it looks like they're open um yeah pickup uh, looks like it's pickup only but you know what they're going so that's what matters keep waco beautiful i think i can live with that looks like startup waco is shut down at least for the moment yeah they're still kind of on the uh on the whole lockdown thing here, so. Like I said, I didn't expect everything would be up and running at this point, but I was hoping that a few things would. And there have been, you know, we're back here. This is uh, the Jake's place that we uh, visited that one time. Like I said, there are more cars out here and that's encouraging. You remember when I was here a couple weeks ago, you know, this was a, a ghost town, really. So the Classy Glass Wine Bar is open, but for takeout only. Interesting, I wonder how they do a takeout on a bar. That seems a little interesting. Barber seems closed, although there's somebody in there. Portofino's, I've uh, had food there, that was good. They don't look like they're open right now. The warehouse bar and chill looks like they're closed. As is the Palladium. Oh, that's kind of a nice place in there. Looks like a good uh, place to have like a wedding reception or something but not today cactus rose is open but apparently only for online stuff you can still order all your uh, stuff from them but only online and only if they ship it to you I guess yeah it looks like the WBC furniture outlet is uh, open but they are maintaining their social distancing rules so yeah that's one way of doing it and actually I think I want to walk into this place this is the place I was looking at a few weeks ago for maybe having them do some t-shirts for me and as I was walking by there I saw they were open so I think maybe I'm gonna go in there and talk to them and get an idea of what it would take to actually make some promotional t-shirts for the vlog and Let's see what we can find out. All right, so I spent 10 or 15 minutes in there talking to them, and that was kind of interesting. Uh, they've, uh, I, one of the things I wanted to ask is if they did something like uh, Merch 5 did, where you know I could just give them the artwork, and they had like a website, and you could just go there and you know check out, you know, click and say, hey, I'd like a t-shirt like this, and they'd print it out. Yeah, they don't do anything quite like that. They're not quite that big time yet. But uh, they seem to do some real quality work. Uh, they do a lot of, you know, screen printing, which is what I would need. I showed them the image that I have of um, the, the Texas Pod Saw Massacre uh, image that you guys have seen a bunch of times. And I also talked to them about another idea they have, uh, that I have, that, and they have a graphic artist on property. And I actually talked to him, and he was a little intrigued with my idea. I thought it would be kind of fun to do. 
so I don't know we'll see uh, we're gonna probably get something like this uh, uh, price doesn't seem to be too outrageously expensive I think it could probably turn them out for you know maybe 20 or 25 dollars a piece uh, so uh, you know think about that if you would be willing to pay for a t-shirt that uh, cost 25 bucks to promote the channel you know let me know leave a leave a comment in the comment section and we'll go from there like I said uh, it looks like uh, the manufacturing would be about ten dollars for the printing uh, depending on the number of colors that I have on the image and then the the quality of the t-shirt uh, and I'm I want to get kind of a good quality t-shirt because I don't want you know one of those t-shirts where you buy it and then uh, you know six months later it's a uh, completely fallen apart in the washing machine I want to get a good quality t-shirt so we're gonna you know I'm gonna try and do things real quality that way and uh, I don't know we'll see what happens they uh, gave me a couple of catalogs to look at here uh, to pick out the kind of t-shirts I want and I have contacts for the graphic artists and the salespeople already so yeah I don't know I think this might be exciting I think we'll move forward on this so definitely leave a comment in the comment section if you would consent to uh, or would consider buying a t-shirt for maybe $25 you know see what you think all right so I think this is the first t-shirt I'm uh, gonna probably make just because this image is ready to go I could put it right into the uh, into the company right now and they could start whipping up shirts uh, so this is uh, the first image that John Yarborough created for the channel uh, you may recall John is also the guy that came up with the uh, the Mickey and the cowboy hat uh, image that I use at the beginning of all my v videos so you know he's got he's got good uh, good history with this channel and we would definitely like to start making t-shirts now so definitely think about it if you're interested in a t-shirt with this uh, with my ugly mug on it uh, you know and would be willing to pay you know 20 or 25 dollars for that t-shirt let me know in the comment section and we'll go forward I need to get a minimum of 24 uh, t-shirts before we can go forward because that's the minimum order that they'll print but the beauty is since it's screen printed uh, once the image you know once they've created the screens they will hold on to the screen so if at some point in the future we need more of them you know what we can just make more so let me know if you'd be interested in doing that and uh, we'll go from there so I think that's all that I have for today thank you as always for watching and I will see you next time on escaping the mouse good night